How's it going everyone? My name is Doogirl and welcome back to Throwback Thursday. Last time we left off we were uh we, dis we disabled the necromancer's kitchen and prevented them from creating any more undead. This time we're tackling a quest called the Green Mist. So let's do it to it. Something has been bothering me. Interesting. Noxus has built a sepulchre, a massive army, and I think I may know how. In order to explain, I'll need to start at the beginning. So I guess we're going. This is going to be like a flashback or so. Cue the flashback sound. Many years ago in Doomwood. Oh, <laughs> that's the clicking sound effect. <laughs> I grew up in a village here in Doomwood. It was not very large, but it was large enough that I had never met Vale before that day. I was in the forest outside of town chopping wood when I heard someone calling for help. Phew. Nearly done. Help! Someone please! Help! Brother! That is coming from the river. I'm coming! I ran as fast to the I ran to the river as fast as I could. Okay. So I guess we as Ardix ran. Okay, seriously, his main attack is that he just runs into it. <laughs> okay, whatever works. I saw that someone, a little girl, had fallen into the river. She was cl clinging to a, onto a rock, but the current was too strong for her. I had to try and save her. Try to hold on. I will go get help. Help. I can't hold on. Please help me. Town was not that not far, but I knew that by the time I returned, she would be gone. I tried to reach her. But I slipped. Ow. The rest is darkness. <laughs> uh, what a ride note to self next time use a tree branch to reach the person in the river you're alive I think so how can I tell yeah you're alive ow my head where are we I... I don't know. The river must have washed us up in this cave. You're from my village, right? I'm Vale. Yeah, I live in the village too. With my brother. What about your parents? They're... dead. It's just me and my brother now. We look out for each other. He'll be worried if I don't come home before sunset. He's the strongest, bravest, best brother I ever. If he was here, he would know how to get us out of this cave. <gasps> Don't worry, Vale. My name is Ardix. I will get you back to your brother as soon as I can. I think I see a tunnel over there. There's no need for you to be scared. Follow me. I'll protect you. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm doing my be the best I can with these kid voices. Also, I want to apologize for uh, not many videos this week. I'm still recovering, as I said in the last vlog. Uh, I've just been tired a lot lately, so... Yeah. Sorry. Okay, nice to, f nice to see he's finally using that axe. Axe! Not ass. Hmm... Sorry if I'm a little less than enthusiastic. I'm really tired right now, and I'm actually recording this before I go to bed. Hopefully I can get it up for tomorrow's release for you guys. Also, the uh, I'm going to try tomorrow to get the uh, the video uh, T for 3 up uh, from Dragon Fable as well. Why were these monsters uh, level 1, but the others were level 2? It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, yeah. Uh, 
Hope you all are having a blessed and fantastic Thursday. And if I can find a Bible verse about siblings, I will definitely put it at the bottom of your screen. Oh, not there yet. So sleepy. Yeah. Okay, almost there, I think. Yeah, we're there. All right. I see light. It looks like we've made it out, Vale. What's that light? It's pulsing. I do not think we should... Vale? Vale! Come back! We should leave! Do not forget about your brother. He will be worried. They don't, honestly, the kids don't use, like, don't and heal and, you know, shortened terms. They pronounce every word. I'm coming! Ooh. Why does this look like, um... That one guy's castle. Sepulcher? No. Somebody else. I can't think of the name, but if I, I remember it, I'll put it at the bottom of your screen. I knew... <clears throat> I knew exactly where we were as soon as I saw the chamber. This looks like the old guardian tower. We shouldn't be here. Are you all right? What what happened to you? I'm fine, I think. I just touched that orb. As I lifted the orb, I heard it talking to me. It, whis it was whispering in my mind. It said that I would have great strength and great power if I gave myself over to the darkness. There was a moment when I almost, but I did not. Right then and there, I decided to turn my back on the darkness forever. Pretty young age to make such a life-defining decision, but uh, whatever floats your boat. That was then. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> That was when I decided to become a power for good. I am leaving, Vale. This is a bad place, and we should not be here. Come on! Once we got back to the village, things did not quite go as, ex as I expected. Vale! I was so worried. What? Are those wings? What? Brother, please don't be mad. I got lost and this boy found me. His name is Artix and he... You! Somehow you did this to my little sister. You stay away from her. But no, I... I said stay away! That night I was still trying to find a way to explain things to Vale's brother. That is when the green mist rolled in. Suddenly everyone in town was transformed into zombies. That night I lost everything and everyone I ever knew. I had no choice. I had to fight my way out. <sighs> the story's interesting. I'm just sleepy. Like I said, it's almost it's about 7 o'clock at night right now, so... I'm only still able to talk loud because my mom hasn't gone to bed yet. Now these guys are level two. What the hell? Choose a level and stick with it, guys. Dang. <laughs> he fell down around the same time I did. Let me see what's in here. Anything? Nada. Okay. And more zombs. Natch. And so I'm guessing this, but uh, Vale took the orb? That's why she got wings? At least we're learning a little bit more about Artix's backstory. I always particularly enjoy backstories. It kind of... It kind of brings depth to the characters. Ooh. As I looked back at the village, I thought I saw a person with wings. But then the figure was lost in the smoke. I turned my back on the village and ran for my life. 
I knew nobody could survive that. I thought I was the only one who lived. I wandered the, in the woods for I do not know how long. Eventually I reached the end of my strength. I thought I was done for. Then... <gasps> Hello there, young man. Would you like some tea? Sorry. Lady, Lady Celestia. She nursed me back to health and began training me to battle the forces of evil, but I had enough tea to last me a lifetime. My contact with the orb has changed me. I can now sense the presence of, of the undead, and I instinctually knew the best way to battle them. Oh, had changed him! I'm sorry, I got that wrong. A few years later, I joined the Paladin Order as a Paladin in training. I put all thoughts of the village behind and looked forward to my new life. Then, I, when I saw Vale, it all came back to me. She and I were the only ones who survived that night. We were unchanged by the green mist. She and I were the only ones who touched that orb. I think that orb was the elemental orb of darkness. I do not know how, but I think Noxus has gotten his hands on it and is using its power to help construct Sepulchre's army. If I am right, stopping Noxus is more important than I first thought. I'm just glad that you are by my side, Tristina. Together, I know we can stop Noxus and their necromancers. Wow. That's an awesome story. Now you know the mysterious connection between Lady Vale and Artix. But how did Vale survive the Green Mist? Where has she been all this time? Does Noxus have the darkness orb? Is anyone still reading this? Me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Um, and it does answer a lot of questions. <sighs> Sorry. Um, yeah. And that does it for this week's Throwback Thursday. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. I really appreciate it. Take care of each other. God bless you all. And I'll see you all later. Uh, Artix, you're one of God's blessed children. Thank you in both real life and in game.